Welcome back. Last night we talked millennials and the fact the average age kids plan to leave home these days is a shocking 27. <laughs> shocking. And young adult guru Yvonne Godfrey said parents are partly to blame. They are entitled. They're treating their parents like an unpaid servant and a banker. They've been trained that way. They've been trained to expect that that's how life works in their world. But despite all that, Anthony Baxter's managed to build a multi-million dollar business around the so-called lazy millennials. And he's with us. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. So you me. hire and market to millennials? Yes, exactly. Um, so we, we, our business is built of mainly millennials. And um, to be honest, it's very hard to find good millennials. But is, is, is it an image thing? Because it's like well, one of the things you learn about having kids is that there's this rap in the media that kids are bad and they're trouble and they're problematic. In fact, they're not. There's a handful. Is, is that the same with millennials, that this whole image of them is problematic, but actually they're quite good people? Yeah, well, you've got to find the right people that align to the core values of the business. So uh, to be honest with you, it, it is hard to find good people. Uh, but in saying that, you know, they want to be inspired by a cause that's bigger than them, mm. a vision that they can all strive towards. You know, the status quo of working for a corporate and working 40 years for a gold watch, that's out the window. They want to work, they want to be passionate and work towards something that's bigger than them. So mm. that's what we embrace. So you're 26 years of age, you've got 11 staff. Mm -hmm. You obviously have done it right. You're not having the issues some millennials are. So what was your parenting background like? Wow, well, a really good, really good question. Uh, so I, my dad was an entrepreneur and uh, my mom worked really, really hard. So I had a very different background and I left home at 17. So um, I just wanted to get out there and make stuff happen. And I've been an entrepreneur since I was five. So Were they too <laughs> nice to you though? Like, were they, were they, were they strict? Uh, one was strict and one was really nice. So I got to see it on both angles. What, do you, reckon, what do you reckon that attitude? Because I left home at 17 as well. And I, I, I know it's not for everybody, but I, I swear to God that the moment you're out there, and you sink or swim, yeah. that's what makes you. Exactly, right? So taking a risk, going out there, just putting, doubling up everything in, and it paid off, right? So uh, we're still doing that. I'm a huge risk, risk taker, and I don't want to take the easy way. Yeah. It's just way more exciting to work towards something that you're passionate about and just give it a go. Like, put it in, mm. risk. Are we, are we sort of pandering a little bit to millennials in that sense, though? They're only going to be good if they're passionate about what they're doing. I mean, sometimes you have to do jobs on the way up, don't you, that yeah. you not necessarily like? 100%, but there should be, like, a plan that you're working towards. Ah, so, yeah. So, so survey out this week. I'm so glad you raised that. Survey out this week, and the millennials said, unless there's a plan, I'm not hanging around. Ah. Only 14% of companies have a plan. Yep. Oh, so, so it's the company's faults here as well. Well, I don't know if it's a company, but, but I mean, if you haven't got a plan, so what is the goal? So you say to somebody you're hiring, you're yep. going, right, here's where you're going, yep. here's what you need to do to get there. This is what we're doing. Yep. We're going to try and move mountains. What do you want to personally do? And how does that fit? How can I enable you to do your best life's work? Mm. And sure, it might be a career. They might be with us for two, two or three years time, but at least they're growing along the way. So that's huge. Mm. Yeah. Do they have the entitled attitude that we're being told a lot of millennials have? I mean, you're interviewing them for jobs. Yeah, I mean, yes. So there are some, of course. And I think there are entitled and lazy people across all generations mm. as well. Um, I just don't think everyone understands millennials very well. And I think it's just going back to what I've been saying. You know, they want to work for something that's bigger than them and for a good cause and you know, corporate and... Um, uh, all that kind of stuff, it just does not work. Is part Nobody of the problem is. they don't know what to do? Because when I left, I knew what I was going to do. So I had a vision and that's yep. where I was headed. The argument these days is they haven't discovered themselves. And so, you know, they, they, they don't know where they're at or what they do, or is that unfair? No, I agree. And people should spend more time focusing on themselves, understanding what their personal values look like. What do they want to achieve? What career suits what they love? And then plan something around that. Yeah. So if I love basketball, start a basketball business or sell basketball cards or, you know, work with a basketball team. If you love music, get into music. What about that very controversial business at the moment of migrants? Do you need migrants to uh, cover the gaps? Uh, so we do have a few migrants and they're fantastic. Uh, really great. Um, so... Yeah, really good question. Yeah, um, you use them, so yeah. well, good luck with Firefly Thank you so much. Search. I hope it does really well for you and uh, interesting insight. Nice to see you. Thank you.